and, and Your Honor, I know how serious you were and how serious uh, you, you, uh, you are about those conditions when you set them. It's not an advisory, uh, it is a hard and fast rule. Uh, so those are the reasons that we're here. Really, I don't know that there's much dispute about the facts. I've talked with the defense. It really, really kind of boils down to, uh, is there a consequence for when Mr. Smith stood before Your Honor and said, I ain't got no money, when he just a couple weeks ago had $80,000 in his checking account? Uh, Your Honor, we think that that's a pretty substantial misrepresentation and think that there needs to be a consequence as to bond uh, for that, and that's why we filed the motion to revoke here today. Mr. Richette and I have had a serious come to Jesus meeting with him to explain because I don't know that he necessarily had that kind of explanation that no, no, like you're in jail, basically house arrest. You have the luxury of being able to work and, um, but if, you know, since his work is not a traditional work, there clearly needs to be a little bit more communication with where you're going. No way that I ever, had any intention of throwing my nose at this court. I would never even dream of it. And I just didn't understand it. When I went to the doctor and I drove by Walgreens on the way home, I couldn't drop my prescription off. It just, it just didn't go register my mind like that. They've, trust me, I've took up butt chewing from these people here for a while now. And I fully understand what it means.